Hey guys, so I've regrouped since last night. <laughs> um, this wasn't the disaster that I kind of felt that it was, but uh, yeah, I was just tired, long day, and uh, sometimes you're like, oh, this will be easy, it's just two figures, you know, and you kind of psych yourself out a little bit, and um, yeah, everything was going fine, and I just, I think I was just, uh, I don't know, <clears throat> tired, out of juice, whatever, so I went back to it this morning. I should have just started recording, but also, you know, I was just running it right into it, you know, sat down and just started working. Um, so I just wasn't thinking too clearly about, um, oh, I should record this and stuff. So anyway, <clears throat> I'll show you what, I, what I've done since then. Um, one, I changed the color of the dragon. Um, I have a tendency to really like monochrome colors, like a page that's all just hues of blue and stuff. Um, and that's one way of going about stuff is that sort of like, this colored, I know there's a theory behind it, and I wish, this is one of the reasons why I wish I went to art school or, you know, just like, still learning these things, but, um, you know, a monochromatic color, I, I really enjoy that. But, you know, for the sake of a cover and or a piece like this, which is intended more as a sort of an ad or something, um, a promotional thing, you, you want it to pop a little bit more. So um, I chose more of an opposite color, stuff that would stand out. So, um Anything in the blue, cool areas for that, like conflicted or didn't come, it, it matched too much with her figure. Um, and then because she has kind of a cool and a, and a hot color on her, her, her hair, which is kind of defining color against the blue, it, it gets tricky, you know, having a hot and cold color on the same figure. So maybe it's something I'll think about in the future and change. Anyway, <clears throat> so I changed that. Um, that's still, that's supposed to be snow, you know, it looks like water, but I think once I put some highlights on it, it'll, it'll read better as snow. Um, the shadow, uh, I added more of a um, blur to it. Um, Taki pointed out, like, right around here, I really should move the shadow either forward more or further back because it's lined up with her, so it just lacks a little bit of depth there, and that's exactly what a shadow is supposed to do, is to give depth. You know, um, also within the shadow shape, I um, I took out the area on her hair because it just made it a completely different color. It was like darker brown or something. Um, so I just kind of moved this harsh red into a more subdued red, so it looks like it's in the the shadow still, but also still stands out. Hopefully. Um, so that's all I've done now, but let me go ahead and try and see how I can move the snow around. Um, the problem is I did this with the blurring tool, and to change it, I'm going to see if I can get away with um, <clears throat> get away with using this kind of very light um, airbrush look. So I'm going to create a new layer. Oops, where did I do that? I'm going to create a new layer. And I'm going to grab this color, this, uh, this lighter blue. Uh oh, what did I do wrong? Uh, this layer should be over the shadow, not the snow. There you go. Look at that. I mean, that works fairly well. Match up to my blurring effect, not, not too badly. Can you hear that? I can never tell if you guys can hear my dog or not. Little Fry over there snoring away. Anyway, all right, so I think this worked out. I was able to move. Shit. Let me get him closer. So on this layer here, I just got to make sure this is covered.
I also noticed that the shadow on her is bleeding out on the sides from the blurring effect. Um, I'm wondering if that bothers me or not. I'm not sure. I kind of like it. I'm going to leave it. I can't um, justify why I like it or why I think it works, but um, there you go. I'm going to leave it. Oh shit, all right, I just realized something. <clears throat> so I drew this snow area, right, or the shadow, using the same tone as the snow area, not the same thing as the shadow area. Huh, I wonder what's gonna happen. What kind of problems have I set myself up for now? We shall see. Yeah, I guess I should have just done that on the Fuck, okay. Yeah, I should've just done that in the shadow layer with the shadow stuff instead of the snow. So I'm gonna redo this. <laughs> Back to the shadow, all right. Uh, create a new layer over the shadow. Use the actual shadow color this time. Like that. I'm gonna move things forward a little bit. Spot there, that's weird. Uh oh, where is that? Okay. I'm doing all right here. I'm okay, you're okay. <clears throat> All right. This is much better. All right, I feel better about this now. Some little details in there that uh, I'm not happy about. So I'm gonna leave. And this is a problem with uh, getting lazy. I um, didn't flat this correctly. I didn't flat it at all, honestly. I mean, you saw what I did. And these are the consequences of getting lazy. It's like now I'll have to go through it. Like I thought I filled in all these little holes, but now I'm seeing tons of little white pixels that I didn't fill in when I was coloring. But again, these are choices you make and you have to live with. <clears throat> I'd worry about it more if this was more of a serious piece. Um, serious meaning like for Together. Shit. Yes, Roman? I think the cat wants to say hi. You want to say hello? I think he just wants to look out the window. Um, anyway, I. Yeah. works. Nope. Alright, 
Well, the little patch that I did over the shadow, because the shadow is in linear light. I don't know why I did that. But that's what I ended up using. Um, looks a little funky. It's another layer I have to deal with. I'll survive. Um, but next, what I want to do is just do some um, highlights on on Una. Um, sometimes I'll do these highlights, and I'm going to do it like this this time. I'm going to create a new layer, <clears throat> and I'm just going to draw weight like right on top of the color layer. Um, and then just take away the weight that I don't really need. And then I'll play around with the opacity of the weight as well. Another thing I could do if I was smarter. Fuck. All right, I'll do it just to show you. Come on, delete. OK. So now I'm going to select all of Una's colors by themselves. Let's see. Just put that on pretty high. So weird. Oh, I thought that was on that way. Now I should get everything. There we go. Okay. Well, my process is kind of whacked out. <laughs> Alright, so new layer. Now it's selected just Luna's figure. Control H so I can hide all of that. And now I'll go ahead and draw in. Now I don't have to worry about my lines going outside of her figure. And this looks bluish because it's under the shadows. I don't want this uh, lighter area to touch that uh, little bit of snow here. It'll create a weird little tangent. I'm also not sure about some of this highlights within the shadow, but I've seen it in real life, a shadow within a shadow from conflicting light sources. Um, it's just not super common. So some of these highlights I'm going to um, accentuate and, and other ones I'm going to lessen. You'll see what I mean. So I'm just using a harsh white here. Um, sometimes I end up using two passes of white, which one is this harsh white, um, which actually leaves super white, but most of it I'm going to um, lower the opacity on. Actually, all of this I'm going to lower the opacity on. And then I might do an outline of just um, 
stark weight, but we'll see. This is just to be like, uh, just to help give it a little bit more depth. You know, and then I like to look at it kind of smaller like this to see what stands out, what might need some. I think this is going to need a little highlight. Now I'm going to erase the little bits that have gone past into other parts of Una. Should get all that filled in on the sword. Uh, where else did it? All right, I think that's all the bleeds on there that I have to worry about. A little teeny bit here. <clears throat> that's fair enough. Good enough. All right, now let's lower the opacity on this. Here's about 50% works. Yeah, keep it around 55. I think that looks good. One of the other things that I did, I forgot to mention, um, I did a, a color hold layer. Um, and the way I did this color hold was I went from a red up here to a blue down here um, because the backgrounds were the, the warmer colors, foregrounds were cooler colors. And then I used um, a very soft eraser to erase around her face so that the line work um, accentuates her face. So your, your, your eyes are pulled to the darker section of the, the colors. Everything, all the other line works has some sort of color hold on it except for her face. Uh, sort of a trick I learned from Frazetta's stuff, um, Frank Frazetta's paintings were actually pretty, I don't want to say blurry, but, you know, kind of like paint sketchy, except he would focus in by, by tightening up um, the areas he wanted the eye to be drawn towards. Um, so that's why I did that. I mean, I'm mostly kind of done here. I think I was thinking of getting rid of the... Just make it a white background. Either that or I'll make it. I'm going to think about the sky. Um, I was thinking of doing like a light fade, like a purplish thing. In fact, let's see if we can move this around a little. Get any. Oh, that's not. I used a complete gray. I'll think about the sky in a little bit. Um, let's concentrate on the snow next. So I'm going to right. just grab the snow area by itself. I probably could have played around with how strong the selection area was there so that it would only grab that without having to shut off the other layers and stuff. You know, uh, I'm not going to sweat it too much. Anyway, so over the snow, I'm going to create another layer. Make sure that's white. I'm going to grab something with texture. Um, I really should just cut out a lot of these brushes that I'm not using. Um, I think too many tools can be problematic. Um, so I want something with the texture on here. Keeping an eye on Xander, sometimes he's getting in trouble. That's got to go way over. He's eating a lamp in the background. I don't know if you can see it. <laughs> anyway, all right. Uh, so let's create this snow layer again. Um, and I got to make sure that this has some texture. So. Plus if that's spacing. There we go.
sometimes it eats my art too, so I have to really keep an eye out for him. <laughs> All right, let's go back to the eraser. I don't, you know, I I don't do this kind of stuff very often with like uh, my brushes. Um, there are certain tools I just don't use a lot, like these, or playing around with like a snow effect. Um, I don't do it enough. I wish I had more practice, or just made myself practice some, you know. I don't know, what do you think? I think that works. Shit, she half looks like she's like surfing. <laughs> Probably because I need to put some textures elsewhere too. So this is it's called snow textures. Let's see if I can get like a different blue. What is he eating? Alright. I think I'm gonna have to go kick the cat out in a second. Sorry about that. I don't know, a little bit. I can deal with it. Cat thinks he's funny. He thinks he's so funny. Anyway, all right. I think the last thing I really want to do on here is go over to the sky. Now let's make some choices. Uh, should not be gray. Um, so I can grab just the sky, perfect. Um, don't give him attention, that's all he wants. Uh, instead of a bluish, let's go with like a yellowish orange. How much is a deeper purple? Let's do that. Kind of making it look like the sun going down. It's a little garish, but let's see what we can do with that. It's so pink. See, because I, uh, I, I'm not a great colorist, a lot of it is just search and find. <laughs> Here I go again with the monochromatic stuff. I really like that, but I know every feedback I get is about contrast. So that has to be a little cooler. I think this is somewhere around here is good. I think I'm done. I mean, you know, if this was, uh, you know, maybe I'll come back to it later and do some other stuff, but I mean, yeah, I mean, I could put more layers of um, shadows on her. Maybe later I will. 
actually right now I'll do a little bit. There's some spots here where without going too far, I think I can add a little bit more depth to Una here. And I'm not going to get carried away. This is just a simple illustration, so let's keep it simple. funny so many times I'm like oh I'll keep this simple coloring wise and then it turns into something else not so simple yeah just lowering that a little bit or darkening it up a little bit except weirdly it looks let's try this again Shit, I did something. Sometimes I hit the wrong button and I don't know what button I hit or what it did. <laughs> Alright, so let's lower that down like 20%. But I also want to bring down the. Oh, I, I see what's going on. Because there's a layer on top of that, it's, it's doing something a little funky. So I'm just going to lower this opacity just a not opacity, just make it a little bit darker, just 10%. See, but now I'm tempted to do more shading and stuff. I'm just going to leave it as it is. Maybe in the future we'll go back and we'll do more. But um, this was meant to be fun, so I don't want to get carried away working on it all day or all afternoon. Um, yeah, just a fun piece. Anyway. I hope you enjoyed seeing me struggle and laughing at me. And <laughs> um, I mean, there's more ah, shit. I, the more that's the problem with Photoshop and all that is like the more I look at it, the more I think about what else I could do. There's too many choices sometimes. Um, I could add more contrast, more light and dark. Um, like I said, I'll come back to it at some point. But right now, uh, this is more of an exercise, and I feel like I accomplished what I wanted to. And um, this was fun. All right, guys. Um, You'll see it on the After Realm site, and I'm going to put the original up there as well for on the, the Kickstarter since we've got a couple more days left. And uh, that's it. So 